y'all D Noah Drive 229. I need to put on my seatbelt, I guess. But today we're gonna be talking about the differences between the Z06. Who's that? Calvin's texting me. The difference between the Z06, the Z51, or you know, regular Stingray, and the Grand Sport. And just kind of breaking down why I chose the Z06 and just some advice for any of you who may be choosing a C7 soon as to which one you get because maybe you're on the fence between two of them so I'm just gonna kind of you know just break down each one and uh, tell you why I got a Z06 also just a caveat uh, I know if you want a very informative video cars cost and technology I think that's his name he has like a channel dedicated to vets too and his videos are super informative he's done a video uh, I think breaking down the differences between them and even the trim levels the LT1 the LT2 and all that definitely check out his videos about anything Corvette related if you're looking to get one all his stuff is super informative definitely go check his stuff out I think he has a red Z51 I think it looks super dope so definitely go check him out um as far as me this is from the perspective of a z06 owner so it's going to be a little different probably and not so analytical so you know it's for what it's worth but uh yeah so without further ado first we're gonna jump into the stingray because i feel like honestly this is the best bang for your buck um i know somebody always said buy the least expensive car you can have front end and you can definitely have fun in a stingray like especially if you get z51 so first of all let me say this if you're a car guy and you're getting a stingray and it's a non z51 don't do it like just go ahead and get the z51 it's such a good bang for your buck that package gives you so much the mag ride which that in itself is worth its weight in gold like if you have a stingray if you have a c7 and you don't have mag ride you pretty much played yourself in the words of Cali, like you you're pretty much losing in life don't do that go ahead and get the mag ride get the z51 package you get so much with it it's not that much and it's definitely definitely worth it so and it looks better so the, the wheels look better because i hate i hate the base stingray wheels i hate people who have those chrome five spoke wheels those look horrible they look horrible i'll put a picture up of one here you know what i'm talking about those people who have a super base stingray with the chrome wheels and a freaking tan car and tan interior and a convertible top i don't, know, I don't understand it. anyway so z51 you know you're gonna be around 60,000 for that and as far as performance guys i mean not much is gonna touch it and as far as fun goes especially if you get a manual if you go stingray I, I would definitely suggest going manual at that power level but the a8 it's it's good too but i feel like in a power level of the z06 it's a little bit more fun but we'll get to that in a second but a z51 manual i feel like it's going to be an extreme bang for your book and up near the top if i were looking at a c7 and i didn't want to spend the extra money on the z06 or um didn't have it or you know just what didn't want to spend that much or even if I did and I was just into just having fun on the weekends definitely give a manual C51 a look it's a truly truly amazing performance uh, for the bargain and fun you know just fun for a dollar it can't be touched almost in the looks it looks really good so you know definitely give that a look if you're just trying to have a little fun you know for the least amount of money as possible now the next step up from that is going to be the grand sport and a lot of people say that the grand sport is like the goldilocks it's the best of both worlds and you know you, you get the wider body and the better looks and the better you know performance arrow the grip the wider tires you get the 335s in the back you can get the cup twos you can get all the stuff for the z06 but power that you can actually manage that's one way to look at it however I tend to look at it a little different I tend to look at it as like the worst option like to me the the Grand Sport is almost no man's land to me personally yes you get better grip and arrow and the wider body 
but for ten thousand dollars it commands a ten thousand dollar premium over the uh regular stingray and i just don't know about that i i don't quite think that the stingray that the grand sport is worth 10 grand y'all comment below and let me know but for 10 more grand kind of think I like the, the more power you know what I'm saying and, and it does have a couple more features like I mentioned but eh, it's up to you to decide but um, I know Motor Trend made the video they said it's like the Goldilocks because you got the better arrow and you can actually handle the power at that level and I agree with that it's it's a more manageable power level than a Z06 I haven't driven a Grand Sport, so I can't quite speak on that. Is it 10 grand better than the experience you would get in the Z51? I don't know. That's kind of up for debate. So I'm going to put that on my personal list. I'm going to put it at the bottom because handling and things like that aren't very important to me. But if you're the type of person who's going to go to the track often, then you should definitely put the Grand Sport on the top of your list because I feel like it's going to be the best for you because you do get those wider towers in that arrow, but still at a power level that a novice can manage on the track pretty quickly because as a novice, you're not going to be able to take a Z06 on the track and really do anything with it until a long time, way longer than I'm sure the much manageable, more manageable power of the Grand Sport. So if you're a track monkey, then yes, I would say Grand Sport. Regular people, mm, I kind of put it at the bottom of this. And then we come to the reason that I chose the Z06, or I'll tell you kind of the benefits of the Z06. So first of all, we still got the wider body. Obviously, I do like the wider body. It's one of those things where you don't notice it. Like when you see a Z51 or a regular Stingray, you say, oh, that's a very good looking car. That car looks really good, especially if they have it spec correctly. However, when a Grand Sport or a Z06 pulls up next to it, you're like, oh my God, what is that? There's a huge difference. And that in itself, for me, if you're an appearance person, if you're into the how your car looks, to me, that's worth it, just in itself, is the wider body. But the wider body, in conjunction with the added performance, the Z06 performance is just on another level. Like, it's just, Chevy took it to 11 with the Z06. If you've never driven a car with the amount of power that a Z06 has, I would suggest you do it immediately because the smile that it will put on your face is bigger than the state of Texas. Like it's just ear to ear all the time. We've got a review coming soon in the next couple of days of a Z06 review. We're both just smiling the whole time. Like it's it's really amazing. The performance can keep up with anything, things four times as much. You know, stand no chance sometimes. And I think that's just amazing and that's just crazy what Chevy did. So because of that, that's more so the reason that I went with the Z06. Because you do get, you know, all those steel creature comforts of the regular C uh, C7. But the performance to hang with anybody and the looks that just kill. Like the Z06 is one of the best looking cars on the road, bar none. So that's the reason that I went to it. I went for it. I feel like it's more of a bargain than the Z51 if that makes sense. However, there's less of a barrier to entry if that makes sense. So, okay, even though the Z51 is like 60,000 and it's beating stuff probably up to like 120,000, so you know, maybe twice as much as it, the Z06 is pretty much keeping up with anything. And so for 15,000 more dollars, you can keep up with anything. And so to me, what it basically comes down to is, is the money worth the things to you? Is being the fastest, is the extra looks, uh, the better handling, is all that stuff worth 15 or 20 grand to you? 
And so it's a personal question. To me, yes, it was worth it. But um, to a lot of people, it's not going to be worth it. To a lot of people, the Z51 is going to be plenty. Regular Stingray is going to be plenty. And you're not even going to come close to those limits. So let alone a Z06. So I totally understand all those who would choose a Z51. It makes a lot of sense. But um, for me personally, for someone who's just a true speed junkie, uh, a real kind of showboat, then the Z06 is kind of more of that. Now I think that the ZR1, I'll add this little tidbit in there, it's not really, most people probably aren't looking at it, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. But the Z51, eh. I mean, I'm sorry, the ZR1, eh. nah, I just, eh. 120,000 to not go that much faster, because you're not going much faster than a Z06 in a rear wheel drive car, you're just, you're just not gonna do it. So, once again, if, if it's worth it to you to have the top dog Corvette, what is this car doing? By the way, sorry y'all, I was too lazy to mount my camera. It's driving crazy. I was too lazy to mount my camera and this one looks much better than the GoPro mounted, so that's why I just decided to hold it this morning, but uh, yeah, bear with me. But, the ZR1, once again, if it's worth it, if it's worth it to you to spend one hundred twenty thousand dollars to have the top dog Corvette that's not that much faster than a eighty thousand dollars Z06, then you know more power to you and do that. That's basically what this all comes down to. You is what is important to you. So if you can't decide between the, the Grand Sport, the regular Stingray, the Z51, um, all those things, I would suggest just uh, kind of analyze yourself your driving habits, and also your financial situation, and just kind of see, is it worth it to you? If you're, you know, maybe a woman and you just want a Corvette that looks, get a non, uh, get a non Z51 convertible, you know, just for the luxury, you know, get a very based out one. You know, if you're just a woman who just wants a Corvette, you're not worried about the driving, you see what I'm saying? That, that fits what she's looking for, however, if you're gonna go to the track every weekend and you want to set the best time possible then get an automatic z06 and mod it a little bit you see what i'm saying so it just depends on what you're looking for if you're just gonna go out carving canyon car carving canyon if you're gonna go out canyon carving every once in a while get a manual z51 you see what i'm saying so just analyze your situation know the strengths and weaknesses of each car and just kind of go from there and each person is you know it's going to be different obviously but hopefully this video was helpful to you kind of from this perspective of someone who's lived with one every day i will say that the z06 is scary as crap when you first get it and if you're not used to driving cars or if you're not a careful driver i wouldn't get the z06 it sits low to the ground so that's another thing to consider. The Grand Sport and the Z06 sit very low to the ground. So, that's just a couple of things to consider. Like I say, I mean, the C7, I think what they did was truly amazing just with this whole platform. You really can't go wrong. So that's a good thing. No matter which one you pick, you really can't go wrong. Chevrolet made so many strides and I don't think that they get enough accolades for how much of a leap they made you know you see cars from generation to generation and sometimes it seems like they didn't really do much for instance i think that the new m5 it doesn't really look that much different than the old m5 i don't really see i know they made some improvements to it and took the dual clutch out and things like that but it's just like you know it almost is the same it looks the same it's not much different the C the c7 is a totally different totally more refined 13 step forward new car like Chevy really killed the game with the design from the looks to the performance just totally different changing I think that they gained a lot of new fans I think a lot of people who weren't even Corvette fans became a fan when they saw the C7 and I think that's the mark of a, you know a truly successful redesign you know or you know new new generation of car so i do want to say kudos to chevy and i hope they keep up the good work i hope the c8 is as 
big of a leap forward as this was because that is gonna be crazy. And I might be first in line with a check. So, you know, keep doing your thing, Chevy. If any of you have any questions, then uh, comment below. If you have any questions about, you know, my day-to-day -day life with the Z06, comment, uh, yeah, comment below, ask a question. I'm gonna post a video soon about just day-to-day -day life with the Z06, living with the Z06. Comment below, and also, biggest thing, everybody comment below about this. Which C7 would you choose? I know we're getting a lot of Corvette people to the channel now. Which C7 do you have? Why'd you choose it? Or if you don't have one yet, you plan on getting one? Which one would you get? C7, would you get the Grand Sport, Z51, or the Z06? Comment below. Y'all have a good day. Enjoy your Corvette. Enjoy your cars, whatever it might be. Enjoy life. Live good. It's the Noah Drive 229. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Subscribe.